I was born and raised in the state of Idaho, taught school there for several years. Then I moved to Colorado and uh, attended Northern uh, University of Colorado for my master's degree and moved on to Denver, Colorado and did my PhD work at the University of Denver. Okay, once you got educated then, then what, what happened in your life? I found that there was uh, the concept of health and energy that needed to be studied because there was uh, problems with, the, with uh, toxicity, problems with stress, and that there must be some way to avoid some of these chemicals that we were building up in our system causing that toxicity. And so in looking at it, I found a way to begin to work on restoring energy and working on better health. I was approached at one point where they said, okay, it works, but what is it and how does it work? And that, I hate to answer things like, I don't know. <laughs> and so I began doing a lot of research around the world and found over 1,500 references to the material that I had been working with that had worked so well and decided that I'd put a cover on the front and back of that work and that was the research project that is now a, a textbook. And that, we're going to talk about that a little while because you did a lot of research. Yes. But that research led you to a, <laughs> I'm going to I laugh a little bit because I'd never heard of it, but what we're talking about today is fulvic minerals. And I'll be honest with you, when we first met, I thought you said folic, and everybody's heard of folic acid, so I thought, well, we're going to do a show on folic acid. And you said, no, 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 it's folic minerals. Well, in the intro, I talked about the world being mineral deficient. So that's what we're going to talk about. Because of this lack of minerals, it led you to a product that is called folic minerals. So I want to talk about that. Folic would be a material from vegetable vegetable base, but fulvic, F-U-L-V-I-C, is actually a collection of organically formed water-soluble minerals that I use, and that is the electrolyte that takes place, allows our bodies to actually be energized. All life is electric. So give me some symptoms. What type of a symptom would a person, you know, I mean, heart disease is an epidemic, cancer is an epidemic, diabetes, all these illnesses are, are out there. Give me some symptoms that a person would probably be suffering with today that would be a tell sign, hey, I'm deficient in fulvic minerals. Perhaps you would notice that you'd be a little more tired. Then functions began to slip, and we began to have signs of not being able to complete tasks as well, perhaps not think as well. And so what I'm saying is we need the energy, the charge, in order to make everything function in a balanced way. It's not magic. It's just assisting the body to function as it was designed. Why does it not function? Toxicity drains the battery. It shorts okay. it out. And stress <clears throat> takes a toll on our energy. Well, you said not to call it a magical nutrient, but it sounds to me like a magical nutrient. If you can put this nutrient into your body and it can alleviate some of these things you're talking about, why in the world have we not heard about this before now? Up to this point, we have become very oriented to the chemical quick fix. You take a chemical and it immediately has a reaction and sometimes that's good sometimes we need something uh, that would be an immediate fix but there's nothing like reestablishing the immune system there's nothing like encouraging the body to do its own thing because we were created as a great machine and that machine has the ability to function very well when balanced and has proper nutrients, proper rest, and is detoxified. Well,
A lot of these, I know I read a lot about digestive enzymes. That's what you're talking That's about, That's correct. Right? And the same thing mm. with um, amylase. Might not be the word we hear, but something to help sugar and carbohydrates break down and become usable to the body for energy. Lipase breaks down fat and triglycerides. And so if you have that on switch, the enzymes to help assist, then you have a chance. You see, most people don't realize, but the hardest thing we ever do in our whole life, the thing we spend the most energy on, actually is digesting food. Exactly. Yep. And so, if you want to think of it as a picture, nine hours a day digging ditch with a pickaxe and a shovel equates to digesting three meals. If you want to spend another two or three hours, have a steak about eight o'clock at night, and you just are digging ditch a little longer. Well, why